Good morning, everybody. I'm very glad to be here with you. Uh, I've met many of you, but let me introduce my, myself just to some of the new members of the team. I'm Christos Karamanolis. I'm the CTO of the Storage and Availability Business Unit here at VMware. And uh, I'll, I'm one of the three speakers today. I'll give you a quick update and introduce uh, the first speaker. So our agenda consists of three main parts. Uh, Yan Bing Li, who is uh, the general manager for our business unit here at, v at VMware, will do an introduction uh, on, around the business and the broad product aspects of Virtual Sun. Then in the second part, I will follow up with uh, the more technical part, uh, talking about especially some of the newer features in uh, Virtual Sun we shipped over the last uh, year, especially since we last talked last uh, March. And in the third part, uh, Rollinson is going to you know, have some fun demonstrating some of, uh, especially our operational, the operational aspects of the product. Yes. All right? Yes. Yeah. So, Jan Bing, I'll pass the clicker to you. Thank you, Christos. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the beautiful VMware campus. Just so that everybody knows, we are the Fortune's 40th best place to work for. And uh, I've just seen the article that they claim we have a really zen-like campus. So, and thank you for Christos for choosing the, the nice coffee we all have. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the coffee you are drinking right now, so don't blame me yeah. for it. <laughs> but certainly. if you go to our espresso machines, Oh, yes. You can find some, some yeah, in this book. Right Absolutely. And, and, and certainly, this is the last day of an uh, uh, interesting week for you, and thank you for uh, being here with us. So, um, you know, this has been a very interesting year uh, for me so far. I've been in this role for about four or five months now, but it's been really feeling like a very exciting ride, especially going into this year with our big product launches and just what's happening broadly in the industry. So, uh, you know, many of you probably thinking, hey, this is the year that, you know, we are watching a very interesting presidential election. We might be having the first female president or the first president with a reality TV show. But, you know, in my <laughs> book... He still I, owes me money. <laughs> in my book, I really think this is the year of HCI. So uh, HCI is going mainstream, where our customers <clears throat> are, you know, adopting it in a mainstream fashion. And also all the vendors, you know, whether you're a server vendor, a storage vendor, or a software vendor like yourself, are trying to get into this already very uh, exciting uh, marketplace. And just to show uh, some of the data points uh, from Wikibon, clearly, you know, traditional storage is declining at a very rapid uh, rate. And all of that market is either going into the cloud or going into enterprise based on the server and architecture. And especially hyperconvergence being the architecture of choice for many of the uh, uh, the enterprise um, service and uh, storage, you know, we're seeing more than 60% year-over-year growth and uh, a very sizable market. So, you know, again, this is the year of uh, HCI going mainstream. And, you know, for us, we feel the opportunity is enormous and the opportunity is now. And so uh, vSAN has been on the marketplace for two years now. So these are some of the data snapshots uh, we released as part of our Q4 earnings release uh, on some of the customer and financial success. Uh, we have been growing very, very nicely as a, as a business on revenue and booking, uh, et cetera, more than 200% year-over-year growth in Q4 alone. And now we are uh, well uh, over a $100 million annual run rate from a software, revenue, uh, a software license revenue point of view. And also on the customer front, we've seen extremely uh, rapid adoption on the customer uh, front. And not only the customers are reflecting in many different uh, vertical segment use cases, uh, and you know, we are seeing well over 3,000 uh, customers. So how did we count all the 3,000 customers? Uh, vSAN's business is largely built on a transaction-based business because we do believe, you know, with um, uh, the adoption fairly similar to the early days of vSphere, we are trying to invest a lot into uh, building a really strong transactional-based uh, business. And about, you know, three quarters of our business come from the customers come from the transaction deal, and uh, another uh, quarter <coughs> is ELA. Most of those customers goes through um, POC with vSAN, and they have decided to make that choice on, on vSAN. We also have another customer segment that's through the Horizon VDI use case, where we track actual deployment of the customers in those use cases. And so uh, uh, this is a, a chart we've also shown as part of our recent launch, again, showing the customer acquisition rate. 
not only we have the most number of customers compared to any other HCI vendors on the marketplace, we also believe we are picking up customers at the fastest rate, probably twice as fast as some of the other vendors. Yes. Question on the on the customers: Is, is this customers that have uh, Visa included as part of their enterprise licensing agreement, or is this separately broken out? Okay, so I just uh, t talk about three quarters of our customers are transactional based who acquire standalone Visa with yeah. the clear intentions of purchasing Visa and standalone. And we do have enterprise agreement customers who has gone through. Uh, extensive POCs. We have uh, uh, some of our you know, million dollar plus deals. They've all gone through extensive POCs around Visa, validating Visa in their um, environment. Okay, so these, the people who are testing out Visa and is what you're, you're counting as customer adoption? No, or these, these are purchased, uh, purchased customers. Okay. Uh, so standalone customers, they have already purchased Visa standalone and also enterprise customer who already transacted and purchased Visa as okay. part of their uh, enterprise agreement, right. but so transact. So uh, both. Yeah. So, to, no. if I may add the comment here, in some part of our beta uh, releases, we have many thousands of customers. In fact, for the very first release, we had twelve thousand customers that downloaded yeah. the product. Of obviously, we do not count those beta right. customers. Yeah. Only customers that purchase the product. Yeah, and even for you know uh, uh, the VDI customers, we actually counted actual deployment. You know, for the VDI use cases, because we have some license bundling with Horizon, we actually only counted deployed customers for the VDI use case. Okay. So, so these customer data, we stand strongly behind, and these are part of our financial disclosure to the Wall Street as part of our earnings release. Yeah. So we, we feel these are you know, you know, really reflecting customers' adoption of, uh, of Visa. So uh, with 300, uh, uh, 3,000 customers, obviously, for Visa being in the market, this is Q4 data. You know, uh, for um, less than two years at a time, we are also acquiring customers at a uh, very rapid rate. And in terms of unit uh, sold, in Q4 alone, we sold 20,000 plus units. Again, another interesting and exciting metric really showing the customer's adoption and the Visa and footprint in the marketplace. So. Um, uh, another data point I want to share is how are our customers using vSAN? You know, why are we picking up customers so rapidly? And really, what are the use cases behind it? You know, when we launched vSAN, we have seen a lot of the VDI deployment. We're pushing into remote office use cases and, you know, data center ad use cases. But this is, again, real customer survey data we did uh, mid of last year right after our 6.0 release, that is the second edition of Visa. Now we have the first edition of Visa on the market. And based on the customer feedback at that time, 60 plus percent of the customers told us <clears throat> they are actually using it in business critical production environment. So, uh, so again, this is a strong, uh, uh, you know, to us, it was actually very pleasantly surprising to see customers' confidence about using Visa in business critical and data center use cases. How many customers responded to that survey? I don't see an N anywhere on the... Uh, Gitan, do you have that data? How many customers responded? Um, no, I actually, I, I don't know exactly how many customers, but it was mm -hmm. a substantial subset of customers, right? So 100 plus customers. It's uh, <laughs> definitely representative of what's actually happening out there. Yeah, I remember okay. being 170 something, but we will get back to that. Yeah, and, and confirm that. Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to switch gear and, uh, you know, uh, changing the gear from just talking about the business outcome for Visa and also our renewed messaging around Visa and HCI and hyperconverged software. So at VMware, we fundamentally believe the hyperconverged infrastructure is an architectural shift. Is an architectural shift toward a software-defined way of doing storage rather than a particular deployment model where you purchase this in a box. So that certainly is one way of consuming HCI, but you know, we believe really the software-defined architecture is what's driving this, uh, this architectural shift. So we have uh, defined you know, HCI based on the combinations of uh, hyper-converged software running on uh, industry commodity x86 hardware. And uh, you know, certainly the software convert compute storage together you know, with the ability to add networking, management, et cetera, into this very uh, tightly integrated uh, stack that's running on industry standard um, hardware. And so if you look at VMware HCI 
uh, and a uh, hyper-converged software definition. You know, we've recently defined our uh, HCS as inclusive uh, vSphere, including the ESX and vCenter, and, and also virtual SAM. And so on the software side, so this is certainly where VMware has the most, um, this is where we innovate. This is in this hyper-converged software space. And Christos and Rawlinson is going to get into a lot more detail about all the exciting new innovations we're driving into. So um, as the uh, uh, business leader for the group, what excites me is uh, we've been able to accelerate the pace of innovation. So uh, it took us a few years to build the first versions of uh, vSAN. It took another year to sh ship the second edition. And we've been accelerating our pace of innovation at a six month release interval. So now we're on to the fourth edition. And we're going to continue to see that uh, momentum continues. And with the fourth edition, we're seeing you know, the product is getting mature. The product is getting into enterprise ready with all the capabilities that these two guys are going to uh, get into. And in my mind, also from a customer adoption, customer satisfaction point of view, we've been maintaining a very high bar uh, on the software. So I firmly believe VMware's goal is to build the best killer software for hyperconverge. And so that's certainly our business focus. And on the deployment um, option point of view, we also believe we're the only player that has a very open and a broad ecosystem of you know, making our software work on all of the major uh, server vendors. So one way of consuming it, many of our customers, if they like the simplicity, they like speed, you know, they can go to the appliance-based approach with VxRail. Uh, this is jointly developed uh, with EMC, a turnkey appliance that's uh, available since earlier this month. Or for customers who want flexibility, or they already have hardware platform of their choice, they really want to have that ability to choose. We offer the broadest ecosystem with well over 100 ready nodes uh, that we work with 10, uh, more than 10 uh, server vendors on. So with the combinations of really trying to build the best hyperconverged software and also pro provide the broadest deployment option, you know, this is what leads me to believe that VMware is in a very good place in this rapidly growth market. And our company is uh, putting a lot of strong investment because we're really being viewed as a strong growth lever uh, for VMware and being part of a critical building block to our software-defined data center vision. You know, I'm seeing HCI or hyperconvert software is becoming kind of a new primitive for building software-defined data center. This is where you know, our customers can start as a new primitive and extend with networking virtualization, with uh, management automation to help them on that journey toward software-defined uh, data center. 